welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 Lef H 18B2, the Fetch Tier 5 Premium SPG, one of only two premiums in the game. Um, well, only two premium SPGs in the game, that is also known as a Lefty or a Leaf Blur. We know it as Fifi La Pew Pew. This one is on the north spawn of Redshire under the command of APA 561 of Olymp. Game on! Well, Apple 561 is a streamer on Twitch TV, so you can usually watch him uh, when he's actually on. Just having a quick look at my other computer. He's not on tonight, but he more than likely will be later on. Okay, he's picked a firing position in the cops, and he's looking for targets. Now, he's aiming downrange. Always a good idea to, to look at that hill, because there's nearly always somebody on the enemy team who pops up there. Reaches the rocks, has a quick look, and then pulls back. And usually, if you can hit them with an arty round, it really livens up their day. Not. <laughs> no, they, they don't get impressed, but, well, it's their fault for getting spotted. Okay, our poodle's moving down, so he might get the first spot. And we've got a leopard sitting behind the bush there. Always have a quick look to see if the trees down by the river have been knocked down. That's an indication that there might be a light tank down there who's using those trees and those knockdown bushes for cover. Okay, nobody yet, but there's bound to be somebody who will go up there because they want to spot our heavy tanks as they make their way up the hill towards the Zeppelin. And the first enemy tank that's spotted is actually a Chappie. Totally the wrong place for a Chappie, actually. But we've got a load of heavy tanks and the... Oh, that KV-2 just derped one of our teammates we fire a quick round in at him and he gets a hit for 123. Now it's the 105 millimeter light field howitzer it's capable of 410 alpha penetrating 53 millimeters of armor and the standard reload is 8.92 seconds but you can see Apple's got a reload of 7.01 rounds out the kv1 who manages to pull back just in time Okay, M10 RBFM, who's not moving, should be. And he takes a hit for 27 because he didn't move the moment the shell was out. In fact, he's still there, I think. And yes, he took another round down. That might be a penetrating round. So the next shot might actually kill him. Well, he took it. He got hit, but it didn't kill him outright. So we'll give it another round. And that did kill him. <laughs> Nice shooting, and Apper's got his first kill. More than likely, it won't be his last, because obviously he is playing the Fifi, which is, of course, one of the uh, favourite arties for a lot of arty players, because it's just so fantastic, the fire rate. You can really get those rounds out and do a lot of damage to the enemy. There's a Penta Fia Schmalter on the reverse slope of that hill, but Apper's more interested in the heavy tanks over by the Zeppelin for the moment. He's trying to get the KV-2. Rounds out. Good hit. 120 hit points from that one. It's forced the KV-2 to pull back. And he did take some damage. But the enemy's pushing through on this side as well. But our T-150 is holding them back. Now, can we get a shot on target? He's pushing them hard. Well, unfortunately, the T-150 died. But the enemy lost their KV-2, and the KV-1SA took a hit for 150. Okay, VK-3601H, he fires ahead of its track. He, he actually, I think he damaged the track, so at least he got very close. Fires another one in. Again, critical damage. Goes for the engine deck, and he gets it. Now, give it another shot. Rounds out, and he got another hit. Keep going. Just like the Wolverine, if you keep all the M10, if you keep firing, sooner or later, you're going to see a corpse of a tank there. And he keeps getting hits. Is he still there? Rounds out. Yes, he's still there. He's still taking hits. He must be about to expire. Oh, another hit. 
all of these shells are actually hitting the target, but they're not killing him. And again, how many shells has hit him so far? I think it's about half a dozen. Ah, oh, now he hits the ground. Unfortunately, that means the uh, that VK has moved on. But he got him with another hit, and that was the end of his game, because it killed him outright. Fires around at the OI. Gets a direct hit. Only three hit points, but he can just keep up the pressure. Keep pumping those rounds in. Okay, it's a difficult shot from this corner. Yep, that was damage as well. 104. Just keep up the pressure. Rounds out. Yes, he's ducking for cover now. He's trying to camp on that corner. Rounds out. Another hit. Okay, he's got to wait for the, come, the guy to come into view. We're doing very well because we're now... There's only four enemy tanks left. This is one of them. He narrowly missed them on that one, but there's a wreck directly in front of him. He's either got to push the wreck or he's going to keep taking hits from Appa. And yes, only one hit point, but it counts. Keep those rounds pumping in. That's it. And rounds out. Just misses. Go for it again. Fires it in. And yes. I think he's trying to aim for the boobies. The weak spot. Those little turrets right at the front of the vehicle. And he damages the, crit the tracks there. And everybody's firing at him. That's the last enemy. And the game is over. It's a victory. Here's the end of battle result. That was a first class tank of the Appa 561 in the 105 Lerf H18B2. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got eight in that game. And he got a win eight of 4,688, which is super unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. Well, surprisingly, he got the highest damage in the game, but most of the shots he fired, he didn't see what damage was being done. But yes, he was hitting those tanks repeatedly. He actually managed to get 1,988 hit points of damage, but sadly, it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool. So he missed out on getting the high caliber. The second highest damage went to the VK3601H on our team with 1,520. And the third highest damage went to the T78 with 1,294. When it came to kills, he, in fact, he got the highest number of kills as well, but he shared it with the Leopard, the Poodle, the OI, and the M4A3E2, the Sherman Jumbo, on his own team. And nobody on the enemy team managed to get more than one kill. In fact, only two players on the enemy team actually got a kill at all in that game. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one too. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,006 base experience points went to Appa 561. He's the only one to get over 1,000 in this game. 833 went to the T-78 and the Leopard got 810. And he picked up an Orlix medal for killing enemy tanks at least one tier higher than himself. And the Sherman Jumbo got a Pascucci's medal. So he must have killed both enemy arties in this game. He fired 33 rounds in the game, so he got 17 rounds spare at the end of the game. 19 direct hits on the enemy, one penetrating shot, and 24 splash. I suspect the penetrating shot was the M10 RBFM. It wasn't, but he did get all of the hit points from that guy. So I guess it might have been from the VK. Yes, it was the VK. One of those shots did penetrate him. He also got 24 splashes. Damage of 1,988, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage five of the enemy, killed two, and did 579 hit points of damage assistance. Now, he did get a mission completion reward, so he took away 165,144 credits from the game. And he also took away 3,622 3, experience points, so it was a very nice battle. And he got all standard dailies completed, so all of his premium missions completed in one battle on the first battle of the stream. But it's not the only replay that Appa sent in. He has sent us in another one. So let's have a look at that one. The second replay is on the north spawn of Cliff. And battle's underway. As Appa's symbol on the side of the vehicle, the pirate's flag. 
and he's also got it on the turret uh, armor as well. Well, turret armor. It's just the um, the armor around the howitzer. Okay, nice placement there. And this is a good position to fire from. From here, he can actually shoot towards the Western Pass. Uh, and he's still basically in cover because the rocks are protecting him. The only problem with this shot is that it's very difficult to actually get shots elsewhere on the map. You need to move away from this position to get shots um, in some directions. You wouldn't be able to shoot over to the far east side of the map. Okay, enemy tanks have been spotted. And yes, he can get a shot on this Type 58, which as we know is a Chinese Type T-3485. Just misses him. KV-1SA. The OI would make a really good target. Rounds out and... Yes, a direct hit. Okay, we lost sight of the enemy just briefly. We've had them in sight. Oh, we've got a bunch of enemy tanks. Three heavy tanks and one tank destroyer, all trying to get around the same corner at the same time. And that one looks like it hit the tracks of the KB-1. But there's a Panzer KW-1 there and a Churchill. So basically, everywhere you fire a shell into that corner, you're more likely going to hit something. Goes for the KB-1. Gets a hit. 147. I think it's a case of just rinse and repeat. Keep firing those rounds in. You'll soon get the message. And the Panzer KW-1's come up as well, so we'll fire one at him. And another hit. It's not a good idea to occupy a corner like this. And if you do keep getting hit, you need to get away from it. You need to pull back. If you stay there, you are going to get wiped out because we'll always beat the reload. And he's got his first kill. He took down the KW-1. Okay, he's trying to get that KV-1 now. He's, I think he thinks he's behind the rock. I just saw a tracer coming from the house at the very back. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, if you keep your eyes open every now and then with peripheral vision, you can see the tracer from the enemy RT emanating from their firing positions. And we can also see tracer coming from near the sniper's nest. So there might be one up there as well. KV-1SA just got another hit. He's tracked. He's stationary. Oh, now that shell went astray. Can he get another hit? I think he can. He's lined up. He fires ahead of its path, but he manages to stop and pull back in time. Line up a shed, shot ahead, and he gets a hit. That's it. That's how you do it. Okay. Work out where he's headed, and then line up the shot, and oh, well, that guy's gone down. So at least that's one that he doesn't have to worry about. But there's a number of enemy tanks right up near the center of the map, and he spotted a VK-3002M. There's that enemy RT again, and we can see a Type 58 has gone up onto the heights. Misses the VK. But we know that Type 58 is just behind that rock. Okay, he's going to go for the M10 RBFM. Let it settle. Rounds out. Looks good. Yep, direct hit. 111. Keep firing those shells in. Oh, that one went to the left. RNG was unkind with that one. And we can see he's pulled away because he just destroyed a set of bricks that were lined up there. There he is. Just the other side of the Donuts Temple. Trying to look through those columns actually sometimes makes the vision go a bit wonky. <laughs> and the M10's gone. I think he was shot from the from our, one of our teammates. Yes, it was the Object 244 got the kill on him. There's the Type 58. Okay, rounds out. Oh, beautiful kill shot. That's his second kill of the game. Okay. KV-1 spotted just around the corner, but he's a difficult shot. And we can see a Hellcat in the background at the back, just behind their cap area. He spotted it. When you see an enemy tank moving about like that, it's a target of opportunity. The Object 244 was the one who was spotting him. Now, we're looking around, having a quick check. Remember that RT was spotted near the house last time we saw him? There's the Hellcat. Okay, line up the shot. Rounds out. Looks good. Well, the SU-8 also on our team also tried to fire them. 
The enemy team's got an M44 and an AMX 13105AM. Oh, there's the tracer again. It's still coming from that triangle of bushes. Just in front there. Not that one, no. That's where the SU-8 just aimed, and he's marked the spot to say, I know there's something there. He saw the tracer. He's actually basically saying to Appa, fire your shell in there, you'll get a kill. Okay, rounds out. Oh, he was absolutely right. He's got a blind kill. Taking out the enemy RT. It was the M44 that he killed. So that's his third kill of the game. Okay, we've got Churchill 1. Unfortunately, the enemy is focusing on our object 244. And he's very low on hit points, I'm afraid. Can we get another shot on this Churchill? Rounds out. Oh, and the 244 goes down. So we've lost our spotter. All we've got is the M10 RBFM who's up on top of the hill and a Jackson who's in the Western Pass at the moment. Now, just ahead of us, we've got a Giro who can be a, a bit of a help. There's that uh, Object 244. And we just saw Tracer coming from just in front of the sniper's nest. I just saw it coming out. So I think there is an enemy RT over by the sniper's nest at this moment. We're watching the Hellcat go, oh, ouch. Well, we just lost our lookout, the M10 RBFM up on top of the hill. Apple fires around it. Oh, yes. That's a penetrating shot. 428 on the engine deck of the Hellcat. It didn't kill him, but it certainly wounded him. He's, he was down to a few hit points left now. But we're down by three at the moment in this game. And I now expect we lost the Jackson, so I expect the enemy heavies are going to be making their way through the Western Pass very shortly. It's obvious that's what they're going to try and do. Our T1 heavy, instead of actually going up onto the uh, near the sniper's nest, he's actually chosen to go low and try and spot for our team. He's hugging the cliff. I think he's going to try and guard the Western Pass. If he hugs the wall, he can side scrape on any enemy tank that tries to um, um, actually come through the pass. Somebody's actually criticizing the T1 Heavy. Um, in actual fact, he's wrong. The T1 Heavy's doing it right. There's the enemy Heavy. The first one that's come through is an OI. Appa's lined up, just letting it settle. Let it dial in. Yep, yeah, that's good. Lines it up, goes for the boobies. And yes, he gets a big hit. 151. He hit the turrets on the front of the OI and he didn't like that. Fires another one in. The OI goes down to the Giro, who's actually just behind us and to our right. Okay, there's two more tanks. A Churchill one and a Wolverine. Not sure we can get the shot on the Wolverine. He's just got a little too close to that house. Well, the Wolverine just went down to our M10 RBFM, who's up in the sniper's nest. And they've got a VK-3002M right up on top of the cliff. He's looking down on the T1 Heavy. There's the KV-1. Now, that's the one that we fired at before. There he is. Now, let it dial in. Let it settle. That's it. Nice and tight. Browns out. Yes, a direct hit right into the side. He's not going to be happy about that one. This could be a kill shot if he gets it on. No, the guy's pulled away. He's pulled back. I give it another go. Well, he got another hit. And there's the kill shot going to the G-Row just behind us. So now it's five versus four. It's turned completely round. We were three tanks down. Now we're one tank ahead. Okay, there's the Churchill 1. It looks like the T1 Heavy is exchanging fire with the Churchill. And he got him! So now we've just got this DK. Missed with that shot. Can we get another one on? He's trying to get down. We might be able to get a hit here. Oh, it went over the engine deck and he's ramming. He went down to try and ram. 
and he crashed into the side of the T1 and died. He rammed the wreck and he gave up his own hit points in the process. And now that means there's only two enemies left, a Hellcat and their AMX 13105AM. Now the Hellcat does have three kills, so we know he's an accomplished player. That could make this difficult. Remember, this was the next game that Apple 561 played on his stream after his first game went off well in Redshire. He then played this game on, on Cliff. And they're both hunting into the games, aren't they? They're, they're both incredible. Okay, Apple pulling back. Oh, now that was an explosion directly in front of us. And he's, I think he's baiting the AMX-13. He's just knocked the tree down to say, here I am. And the AMX-13 fell for it. And he shot at the tree. And of course, now he's moved away. So it looks like he managed to fool that AMX-13 105AM. And the shell landed just a short distance away from us. I think that may have been after the M10. So it's, it's possible that the enemy Hellcat is spotting. Another shot. That was aimed towards the cap area. Well, it's probably, a, probably very likely that the Hellcat is still up the top of the hill. And there's that RT round coming in. Still going after the bushes that Appa say, set when he set that trap. Okay. Appa's going hunting. There's another shell that the uh, AMX-13 is wasted. Now he has to move to knock that wall down to get past the KV-1, but... He's got a view range of 390 meters. The AMX 13105AM only got a view range of about 265 meters. So obviously the AMX 13105AM is not going to see him before he sees the enemy. The only worry is the Hellcat. He's got a much longer view range and he might spot us. As you can see now the view range rings on the mini map. We are going to be in sight of the Hellcat if he's up that hill. The advantage of going to this position, though, is that we might be able to get shots on the enemy. We might be able to see them and hit them. That's the two-minute warning, by the way. g -Row and the M10 gone to the cap area. There's the AMX-13. Yes, he is by the sniper's nest. We've gone to the aim. And we get a shot. And we get the kill. Oh, the kill shot went to the M10 RBFM. So we missed out on that one. But now, where is that Hellcat? Oh, we've been spotted. Hug the rock. Okay. Oh, the Hellcat hits us, but it's an HE round. He probably thought that we could penetrate a heavy tank with an HE round. It's not going to work out that well. He only got 114 hit points of damage, but he might have the 90mm gun. I saw him dash down the hill. We've got two in the cap, so we are capping, but Appa is trying to get away because I think that guy is running around the donut as fast as he can to try and take out Appa from the corner. But Appa's got too much... Um, sense to actually stay there and he's going into this position to hide and that's it we've capped out and there's the hellcat it's too late here's the end of battle stats and that was the second class tanker for apple 561 of olymp in the 105 left h 18 b2 he managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 13 in this game. And his win eight was better than the last game, 5,072. If you remember in the previous game, he only got four, six, eight, eight. So, yes, he's getting better every time. Anyway, let's have a look at the team scores and see where he was. 
Well, in this game, he didn't get the highest damage in the game, but he did come close. In fact, he came second. The Hellcat, that was still alive at the end of the game, got a high caliber for 2,113 hit points of damage. It did look like he actually had the 90mm gun, but he elected to fire an HE round APA, and it just hit the gun shield, but it didn't um, get the full effect, so he didn't go down with that shot. Anyway, APA got 1,903 hit points, and in third place, we got Jackson on our team with 1,716. When it came to kills, it was well shared between APA, the Hellcat, the OI on the enemy team. So three players got three kills. And when it came to base XP, APA's got that one as well. 888 went to him, 755 went to the M10 RBFM, 720 went to the Object 244, who also managed to get a patrol duty in that game for being the only one spotting six enemy tanks whilst they were damaged. So he got two out of three in this one, the number of kills and the base XP. He fired 39 rounds in this game, so he only had 11 rounds uh, left at the end of the game. 15 direct hits on the enemy, two penetrating shots. Well, I think I know one of those penetrations was the Hellcat, because, yes, he hit him for 428. Well, when the Alpha's 410, that's a high roll when he hits him, but it didn't take him out. The other one... Well, that's more than likely, yes, it is the M44. He did get a penetrating shot on the blind shot on the bush, and the shell went right into the target and nailed him. He also got 22 splashes, damage of 1,903, of which 1,610 were at more than 300 meters. So it just goes to show some of those shots were actually fairly close. He did receive one hit. It was an HE round from the Hellcat, and he also damaged nine of the enemy, killed three, and did 45 hit points of damage assistance in the game. Now, he earned a profit on a premium count of 18,922 credits, and he also got a reward for completing a mission and got 9,857 experience points altogether. So another really good rate game, and this was consecutive games played on Apple's stream on Twitch TV. So I hope you enjoyed both of those replays. If you did, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm, and thank you for watching.